what is up guys and welcome back to the channel now today's episode is going to be a follow-up on this no drill front license plate mount for the fl5 type r i received some feedback from some fellow civic type r owners with the same license plate mount and so they're giving me some tips of advice in order to get this thing to i guess get closer to the grill so this thing actually protrudes out from the grill way too much and it's actually held in position with two points and one of the Civic Type R owners is actually claiming that it's actually starting to deform his front grill because basically I guess the two points are causing the license plate to bend forward and I guess with highway driving bend the license plate backwards you know as the wind hits it so we're going to go ahead and take this thing back apart and we're going to resolve the situation of the license plate being way too far from the front grill assembly so without further ado let's go ahead disassemble this front license plate mount and we'll show you what's going on all right guys let's go ahead and take a closer look at the sly no drill license plate mount for the fl5 type r so i don't know if you can see this gap right here between the grill and the actual license plate mount itself i mean it is substantial of how it protrudes out so let me go ahead and grab a measuring tape and i'll show you guys okay so if you take a look at the measuring tape i mean this thing is protruding out one and seven sixteenths of an inch you know away from the grill I mean, that's just protruding out way too much as you can see there's only two points you know for mounting right here so point number one and point number two right there and i can see over time i guess with highway driving you know as i guess wind hits this thing it's just going to be pushing up on the grill i mean so taking a closer look at this license plate mount i mean this thing protrudes out way too much i mean there's a perspective on the side right there but we're going to go ahead disassemble this thing and maybe develop a better solution in order to get this thing way closer to the front grill without having these main two mounts right here one right there and one right there all right so let's go ahead disassemble this license plate mount and see if we can come up with a solution in order to get closer to that grill All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this sly no drill license plate mount now that the license plate is off of this car so as you can see right here you got this bottom bar and this thing protrudes out a lot from the grill itself and this metal piece right here and this metal piece right here it protrudes out a lot and i presume that's the fact that you have to insert the pieces into the grill and then rotate it at a 45 angle just so you can actually have something to grab onto so this is the number one interference piece right here that I can see with the design of this. I guess what you could do is take this metal bar out and then what you could do is take this metal frame, raise it above and this piece right here and this piece right here would stick out from the bottom. So I don't think that will look right. It might look a little silly. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off and basically flush mount this thing to the grill itself. Now I guess there is probably another option you could do without using this piece and this piece or the metal bar support system. So what you could do is use this screw right here and this screw and then basically take this metal frame and butt it up against the grill right there. And if you can get a, like a large fender washer and a nut behind this grill right here, but it's gonna be tough because you know one finger is gonna have to be trying to maneuver this washer in there and you have to have another finger holding it in place, you know, while you get your screw ready for position so you can get that thing tightened up. But you just don't want to drop any fender washers inside here because getting access inside this grill area, you're basically going to have to pull this entire bumper assembly off, and that's not going to be a fun task. So I'm trying my best not to take the bumper removal route right here. So we're going to come up with a simple solution for this sly license plate mount bracket. So it'll make it look a lot better this protrusion that it's got right here okay let me go ahead and take this phillips head screw off and this phillips head screw off and then we'll go ahead and start taking some more parts off and i'm going to show you what i'm going to come up with here okay so i got the main license plate mount removed from the slide bracket assembly and you're left with this stud this stud and you got the bar system right there on the bottom now here's one option that you could do, but you're gonna have to remove this stud and this stud in order to do so. So take the Allen head screw, loosen that up, loosen that one up, and basically take that bar and remove it from the system. 
but you need to go ahead and remove this stud and this stud as well because what we're going to do is you would basically mount this license frame right here and it'll go closer to the grill itself and then basically just take some screws and drive it through the license plate frame and you need two screws one on this side and one on this side and basically drive it through here and then make sure it protrudes right into the back side of that sly license plate mount bracket right there and then what you could do is you could actually take a dremel or whatever and just cut these little studs off or you could actually adjust this horizontal bar right here and basically just lower it down so you basically have something like this and then you'd be left with something that looks a little bit like this remember guys i'm just mocking this up so you got that stud right there protruding out and you got that stud right there protruding out it's not going to look right but it is a solution so i think what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to go ahead and take the whole sly license plate bracket system out of this grill and we're going to take that route so let's go ahead remove this 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 bar right here and then we're just going to basically start from scratch let's go ahead and do this All right, so the main reinforcement brackets have been removed from the front grill. And I actually already see some damages which have occurred to the front grill itself. So let me show you guys. So I don't know if you can see this indention right there and this indention right here. So it's actually been pushing down on the inside most part of where it was inserted in the grill. So I presume that what was occurring is, you know, if this mount was just like this and you're driving the highway, and basically that wind is pushing on the top of that license plate. It was actually twisting this bracket right here and it was putting stress on this grill part right here and this grill part right here. So after seeing this, I'm not quite a fan of this bracket system right here. It's actually causing more damage than what it's worth. But luckily I caught it early. I've only had this thing on the car for about two months. So we're just gonna go ahead and straight mount this frame right here onto the grill itself. So we're not going to be using the main bracket system anymore. Okay, in order to get this main license plate frame mounted to the grill, you got two choices in my opinion. You can try and use the screws and put a fender washer and a nut behind that grill. It's going to be tough to do. Or we can go ahead and use multiple tie straps. I know people are going to frown at the tie strap idea, but you know tie straps, they are strong. So we're going to probably go ahead and do the tie strap idea first because I don't want to risk dropping some fender washers down there in the grill opening and having to basically pull my bumper assembly off all right so let me go ahead and get some tie straps i know you guys are probably gonna clown me on this but you know it is what it is it's gonna look a lot nicer and you'll never see the tie straps once the license plate is in place i guess as long as we use an adequate amount we should be okay all right let's go ahead and get some tie straps ready All right guys, here's the current situation right here. I've got the license plate frame mount tie strapped to the factory grill. Don't clown me on this. So there is two methods. You can go ahead and do your best in order to put your fingers behind there with some fender washers and a nut and tighten this up to the grill. But we're gonna go ahead and do the tie strap method right here. So I've got four small tie straps on these small holes right here on the side. And then we got four medium sized tie straps right here in the main center bracket. So I think this is going to hold pretty well, but you know, this is just my opinion. So I'm just trying to give you guys some more options as opposed to that bulky mount system that protrudes out almost an inch and a half from this front grill assembly. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this thing is level and I'm going to basically snug these tie straps up and snip the ends off and then mount the license plate on there and see what we're left with. But you know, so far I'm liking this a lot better than that bracket system that was protruding out an inch and a half. So as you can see, it's basically just touching the front grill. So as long as we have this thing snug, it shouldn't damage the front grill. 
But you know, it is what it is. And like I said before, I'm just trying to give you guys some more options in order to get this thing looking a lot better and not having to damage, you know, your front grill with those brackets that are basically pushing up from all the wind, pushing that license plate, you know, upwards. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing level and then make this thing snug and cut the ends off the tie straps and see what we're left with. Alrighty, got the extensions, cut off the tie straps, and here is the final result. So taking a look at this mount right here, and I'm looking at the grill, this thing looks pretty level. I don't know, just go ahead and check that out. Now, as I mentioned, I got four medium tie straps right there in the center bar, and I got four small ones right here on the perimeter going through these factory holes right here. So, I mean, this thing is pretty sturdy. It's not gonna go anywhere. And you're not going to see these tie straps once the license plate goes into place. So I'm just kind of giving you some options on this video. I chose a tie strap option. You're more than welcome to try the fender washer and a nut going behind this grill. But as I mentioned before, holding that washer and that nut, you know, with your finger while trying to tighten that thing up, it's going to be tough because, you know, there's no access behind this grill without having to pull off this front bumper. Now there is a belly pan that you might be able to undo from the underside in order to get access. But doing some other work on this car, I've noticed that there's a lot of one-time use clips that Honda's implement on this car, which I'm not very happy with. So I can imagine that basically you're trying to take those clips off, snapping the heads off those things, and you're in the middle of a project, and you know you don't have any clips to put back in position. So shame on Honda's part. Now that O2 Acura RSX right there, I've reused those clips plenty of times on the front bumper because I've had that bumper on and off a lot of times. So props on Honda for engineering that quite well. But as these cars get newer and newer, you know, the materials get cheaper and cheaper. It's just, it is what it is. It's kind of stinks. Anyways, I don't want to go off on a tangent here, but I'm just basically showing you what the situation is if you guys go ahead and decide to drop the main belly pan on the bottom of the bumper. Uh, anyways, we got this thing secured to the front grill. This thing is very snug, it's not going anywhere. I'm very confident with this, so let's go ahead, bolt the license plate up and see how secure it is. And if we can see the tie straps from behind, let's go ahead and put the license plate back on. All right, here is the end result of the modified Sly no drill front license plate mount bracket for the FL5 Type R. As you can see, this thing is tight against the front grille. That's what I wanted. And on top of that, I can actually see the lower lip right below that for the front bumper. Looks much better. Show you perspective from the side view. Show you how tight that thing is against that front grille. That looks so much better than that big protrusion we had for almost an inch and a half out. Plus it's not gonna damage the grill from those brackets twisting under pressure on the highway speeds and whatnot. So just give me an idea. I mean, this thing is held firmly into place. That thing's not going anywhere. So if memory serves me right, we got four medium tie straps in the center, and then we got four small tie straps on the outside perimeter. So I don't think this thing is going anywhere. It's very snug to the front grill. So there's no chance of damages behind there. But if you want to go ahead and take an extra precaution, you could get some, I guess, foam pad and line the perimeter of that if you wish to do so. So I didn't take that course of action, but that'll give you an option as well if you're really OCD and you really want to protect the plastic right here. But I don't see this thing shaking and sliding and whatnot, but I think these tie straps are holding this in position very well. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and take that route, of getting fender washers and a nut and bolt holding the frame in position, you're more welcome to do so. But just go ahead and take some precaution because holding those fender washers in that nut in position while you grab that screw, it's gonna be tough. I mean, those things could actually fall down right inside the bumper opening. And there's basically no access unless you drop down the pan or pull the whole bumper assembly off, which, you know, that's a pain in the butt. 
And that right there wraps up the custom installation method of the Sly No Drill front license plate mount for the Civic Type RFL5. So what do you guys think of this installation method versus the original design where it protrudes out from the front grill? Go ahead and type your comments below and I'll be happy to hear what you guys have to say. And the tools that I use for the custom installation method of the Sly No Drill front license plate mount bracket, wire cutters, 11 16 wrench, and a large Phillips head screwdriver. Alrighty guys, that wraps up the revised installation method of the Sly No Drill front license plate mount bracket for the Civic Type R FL5. Now keep in mind, there's some different approaches you can take in order to get that license plate a lot closer to the front grill without having to cause damage using the factory brackets that are included with the kit. So approach number one is what I used, tie straps. I believe I used four medium tie straps and four small on the outside perimeter. It seems to be holding in place quite well. And then method number two would be to go ahead and feed some fender washers on the inside grill opening along with some nuts and then go ahead and try and drive that screw right through there. But you gotta be very careful because you don't wanna drop the fender washer and that nut because accessing inside this grill, it's gonna be quite tough. Either you have to pull the whole bumper off or you have to pull an underside pan on the bottom. Anyhow, I'd love to know you guys' thoughts on the installation method that I chose in order to get that license plate a lot closer to the front grill utilizing tie straps. Or should I have used fender washers, nuts and bolts? Go ahead and type your comments below. Anyhow, we got a lot more modifications planned for the Civic Type R FL5, and I hope you guys can stay tuned. And if you guys are enjoying the Type R content, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.